across the region. I mean, very heavy rainfall, making it hard to see across the region. And, you know, lots of people always are looking during the storm to see, you know, do you hear that tornado siren? Well, if you're inside, you might not necessarily hear it. So you want to make sure you have either WKYT on your TV turned up loud if you're in your safe space, because we want everyone to stay safe. This will go for until 730 in the morning. I mean, we are zooming in really close. If you are in the locations of Somerset, Science Hill, Shopville, I want you guys all in your safe space this morning, even in Pointer, Fairbush, Nancy, even getting into Shopville. And this system is really strong, just pushing right on through. We are going to continue to watch it as we get into the rest of the morning. I mean, let's just zoom in again. We can see the winds. See that red and green color when they are really close like that? That means there is rotation in the atmosphere, like I said. And it is pushing straight off to our northeast as we get into the rest of the morning. And we're really just paying attention to this because we are seeing a lot going on across the region. And, you know, as we get into the rest of the day, this is only going to be the first wave. We could see another one getting later into the day, but see that white color? That's really strong rain, even the potential for some hail in some locations. We're seeing lightning in that area as well, but we want to make sure everyone is staying safe. So make sure you seek shelter if you are sitting right now in portions of Pulaski County, I mean, Somerset included, City Somerset, seek shelter immediately. You know, the safest place is in your basement. The interior room on the first floor, that is the safest location you can be. If you're in your mobile home, make sure you are maybe somewhere else. Protect your head at all times. We want everyone to be safe as we get through this event. Now make sure you guys are all okay as we stay into this event. Tornado safety, though, like I said, you want to get into that interior room, maybe that bathroom or that closet. You don't want any windows because, you know, debris could float through the windows, and we want everyone, of course, to be okay as we get later into the day. You want to cover yourself with blankets, even a mattress for protection as we get later into the system, and it's going to continue to go right on through. I mean, we are just making sure that everyone's staying safe as we get into the system. This tornado warning for portions of Pulaski County will go until 730 this morning. We're going to continue to track it out and keep you guys safe. Let's go back and take another look at the radar, just paying attention to to the system, we are continuing to see really just very strong winds from it as well. I mean, we're seeing gusts at times up to 50 miles per hour, and radar already observed hail in the county before it up to the 50 mile per hour, I mean, excuse me, hail up to an inch and a half in length. Let's zoom on in once again. You can see we also still have some, we have some flash flood warnings off to our north and also our east, but really just paying attention to this tornado warning. If you are located in the city of Somerset, right along 27, you need to make sure you are pulled off to the side of the road and make sure you guys are staying safe. Even if you're on 1247 in the locations of Shopville, Somerset, Science Hill, even let's zoom in a little bit more, Pointer, Ingle, Burnetta, Piney Grove. You need to make sure you are in your safe spot. Also, if you are in the locations of Burnside, Mount Victory, you guys are not in that tornado warned area. You are still in that county, but things are okay, at least at the moment. We are continuing just to see that system move off to our north and east. And really, as we get into the rest of the day, we're going to continue to track this system. Hold on one second. I'm going to take a quick breath right here, but we're going to continue to track it out. All righty, back to it. Somerset, you need to be in your safe zone right now. You see where this color is located. Let's zoom in and see the winds on this system. Take a look right here. We have this green color and the red that's now turned a little bit more purpley blue. That rotation's tightened up a little bit in that location right along 80. That's so if you're arriving right on 80 heading towards Somerset, if you are in if you live in the northern portion of the city of Somerset, you need to be in your safe zone right now because this storm is heading right towards you. It's moving pretty quickly at about 50 miles per hour, and it's going to push right on through this county as we get into the rest of the day. Here we go. It is pushing right along. Let's get this out of the way, though, real quick. And you can just see, if you are located in this region, very gusty winds, heavy rain as we get into the day. I mean, also still, we have a tornado watch in effect for portions of southern Kentucky. I mean, if you live in the locations of Somerset, London, if you're in southern Kentucky, 
You could potentially see a tornado, just like that warning's in effect right now that we're having to watch for portions of Pulaski County. I mean, really, we could see gusty winds, heavy rain, even the potential for some flooding as we get later into the day. And we want to make sure everyone is safe as we get into this forecast. I mean, like I said, that tornado warning, Somerset is included. We are seeing right now heavy rain, also frequent light lane. Don't try to go out and see if you can see the storm because it is rain wrapped and you are not going to be able to. You also might not be able to hear those sirens. You know, a lot of people think I need to wait for the sirens. No, you need to make sure you hear the alert and you go to your safe spot immediately. Like I said, most interior room of your home, make sure you have that hard hat, make sure you're wearing closed toed shoes just in case of after the event, you need to go somewhere. You want to make sure your feet are protected, but we are continuing to watch throughout as we get into really the next couple of minutes. This lasts until 7.30 in the morning. So heavy rain, gusty winds we are seeing right now here in Somerset. And let's go take a look at those cities included that are in this warning. You need to make sure you're in your safe zone. London, you are not included yet, but you know the system is barreling right on through. You need to make sure that if you're next, that you are ready. Let's take a look as we zoom in once again here on our map. Lots of flash flood warnings all around. See these green boxes? That's very heavy rainfall we've continued to see, which I'm sure makes it really hard to see, of course, what's going on in this county. But take a look. If you are in the portions of northern northern Pulaski County, including the city of Somerset, you right now are included in this tornado warning. If you're driving along 27 early this morning, you want to make sure you are parked off to the side. If you need to hide into a ditch, make sure your head is covered Right now, if you are sitting in London, you are not currently in this warning or even in portions of Rockcastle County. You're not in this warning either, but make sure you are ready to be alert in case it is extended. The storm's moving at 50 miles per hour, so we're seeing some very strong winds with it. And this white color, that indicates hail usually. So we already saw in Russell Springs indications of one and a half inch size hail, and that is some big hail included in this storm. Let's zoom on in again and see what community are in the path of this. If you're in Pointer, Science Hill, Burnetta, Somerset, Shopville, Piney Grove, you are all included in this warning. And I want to make sure you guys are taking cover, even in Bobtown, right along 39, even 1247, even on 80. Make sure you guys are taking cover immediately. Let's take a look at the winds in this system because we've seen some pretty strong winds and we can see the rotations really tightened up around here. Green is Green is towards the radar, red is away. And you know, once we see that purplish color like that, we know it's really tightening. So if you are in Pointer, please make sure you are seeking shelter immediately. If you live in northern portions of the city of Somerset, heading towards Science Hill, I wanna make sure you guys are in your interior room. Make sure you have a helmet if you need to, closed-toed shoes. Like I said, this storm is coming right towards you. And of course, make sure you have access to alerts. And if someone's sleeping, make sure they get up and head to their safe spot immediately because this storm is barreling right on through. Here's the latest scan. You can see we are starting to see that rotation broaden just a bit, but it does look like they are continuing this warning. Let's go see what the National Weather Service is saying about this real quick. Let me go zoom out a bit and I'll take a quick pick. I mean, a quick, <laughs> a quick peek for you guys as we get into the rest of this system. Let me zoom out just a bit with the camera. All right, let's see what they're saying about it. Right now, we still have the tornado warning. It's been continued for Pulaski County until 7 a.m. And, you know, radar right now is indicating a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. It was located over Stab, moving near Somerset, east at about 50 miles per hour. I'm also going to take a check at our Somerset camera. We have a camera located in that area, um, see if it's showing anything. Like I said, right now, though, very hard to see anything just because of because it's so dark and, you know, things are rain wrapped out there let's go take a peek at this real quick let's see oh you got it up for me cool uh let's see our somerset cam it is connecting right now i'm going to move it around a bit to see if we can see anything connecting hopefully that does not mean that it was impacted by anything but i know i see really heavy rain out into the distance of the system i mean 
it is very high up. It could mean that it, the, maybe our camera is impacted by some very strong winds, even some hail as we get in, you know, really just seeing it across the region. The camera's reconnecting. So once it reconnects, if it does, I will try to go back and pan around. If not, it still looks like it is connecting and it's going to continue to load. So I'm going to go back to showing you guys the radar because I want to make sure you guys are safe. And if you're in these locations that you're doing the right thing. I mean, take a look, zooming back in. Pulaski County, we are all eyes on you. Somerset, if you live in northern Somerset, the city of Somerset, you need to be taking shelter immediately. And your phone, I'm sure, is all going off. Seek your safe spot, even in Science Hill, Shopville. If you're in Waynesburg, Mount Victory, if you're in portions of Mount Vernon, southern Rockcastle County, even getting into northern Laurel County, you right now are in the clear. But it doesn't mean that that storm will continue to maybe produce a tornado and head into your location. So be on high alert right now if you are in those areas. Let's zoom in again to see the velocity track. That will tell you the wind gusts. I mean, you can see that green color and that blue very tight, which means the rotation is tightening up just a bit before, which means we could see some very strong winds in this location. I'm sure if you're at that 27-12-47 split between Science Hill and Somerset, you are really seeing gusty winds, potentially even some very strong hail in this location. Let's get this out of the way, though. And I'll zoom back on out and you can see where it's located. If you're not in this location, you right now might be seeing, you know, just very heavy rain. I mean, we have a lot of flash flood warnings in effect across the region. I mean, you can just take a look as we get into portions of KC County, even into southern Lincoln County, Rockcastle County, we are seeing showers across the region, very heavy rainfall, along with that tornado warning in Somerset, along with the hail. We, I mean, things are, lots of things are going on across the region, guys. We are going to continue to track them out throughout the rest of the day and the morning. Like I said, this tornado warning goes until 730 in the morning. You can just see here on this map for Pulaski County, if you are off to, of course, the north and east you want to be on alert too because this could be heading right across your doorstep as we get into the rest of the day um, the system's going to move right on through and this is only the first wave but i'm going to show you guys too what else we have going on including our other warnings and that includes a flash flood warning for portions of clay laurel leslie owsley and perry county that we are seeing right now into effect we also have some other ones located across the map. I mean, lots going on this morning, lots going on, including the weather world. Let's zoom back in again to radar, and I can show you guys on the map as we continue to zoom back on in to Somerset. Let's get right there into Pulaski County. And look, guys, right under the system, nothing really going on if you're in Monticello. If you are right along the Tennessee border, you're not even seeing anything going on right now. But Somerset, you are still in that area for that tornado warning. It does look like we have a new severe warning in effect, a severe thunderstorm warning. Let me go take a look at this from the National Weather Service right now. It does look like, let's see what it says. Uh, this, it does look like the National Weather Service has continued a severe thunderstorm warning. The tag on it's potentially for a tornado, um, and we can see wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Hail maybe an inch and a quarter radar indicated for Pulaski, and this is for Rockcastle County. So we are seeing a strong system moving our way right now, and let's just take a look and zoom right on into it. I'm going to come right on up to the screen and talk about some locations that we are looking at. I mean, you can see that. That white color on that map, that indicates usually hail or very heavy rainfall, and it's heading right towards Science Hill. I mean, look, that 27-1247 split, that's where we could possibly be seeing a tornado, at least right now. Our camera's down, or I would show you what things are looking like, but you live north of Somerset, even to Bobtown, Shopville. You want to make sure you are seeking shelter immediately, even north of Piney Grove. Right along 39, you are stopping on the side of the road because this storm is barreling right your way, and we want to make Make sure you are safe. So if you are in your home and you're getting this alert right now, make sure you are seeking shelter immediately. The safest place is in your basement. You want to make sure even you're in an interior room on the first floor. If you're in a mobile home, you want to make sure you evacuate because you want to make sure you stay safe, protect your head, wear closed-toed shoes, make sure you're wearing clothing. I know some people, you know, they might be sleeping in their pajamas. Make sure you wear safe and sturdy clothing, even a jacket. I mean, it's raining outside, guys. You want to make sure you are dry in case you have to get out of your home. But we we want to make sure 
everyone is still in their safe zone. Tornado safety, I'll show you guys in this house right here where exactly you need to be. And that likely will be in that closet or maybe a bathroom. You wanna make sure too, if you ha can, maybe put a, uh, a blanket or a mattress on top of you once those strong winds come. A lot of people say it sounds like a train and you wanna make sure you are protected and safe. You wanna avoid all windows and outside walls because debris can be really just thrown into your home like projectiles and we want to make sure everyone continues to just stay safe and I'm going to track out again let's take a look at first alert radar network what are we continuing to see across the region if we're getting any alerts at least as we get into the rest of the morning let's see what we have going on right now Still, the city of Somerset included. Even in portions, we still have that severe thunderstorm warning for the potential for a tornado in portions of southern Rock Rockcastle County, even getting into Pulaski County. Here, let's zoom right on in again. It's eyeing you right on I-75, so everyone on I-75, I hope you are at least making your way to where you need to go or maybe pulled off on the side of the road ahead of this system. Let's zoom right on in again. It does look like most of the rotation is now in the Science Hill community. Let's zoom right on in and see what we're looking at. You can see, hey, as we get right on in here, south of Science Hill, looks like right along the 227, the 227 split along with the 27, that's where the tightest rotation is located. This looks a little bit weaker than the last look at it, but still, I'm sure we are seeing very gusty winds at times. I mean, that track from the National Weather Service had potentially a 70 mile per hour gust, and we can continue to see that as we get later into the morning. Moving about east at 50 miles per hour, so it's gonna move by pretty quickly. Um, and we'll just continue to track it out for you guys as we get into really the rest of the period. Let me get this out of the way though. So again, I'm gonna say those locations that are right now that are in the safe zone. If you are in Mount Victory, if you're in Waynesburg, if you are, let's move this off to, if you are in East Bernstein or London, right now you are not included in the warning. You right now are seeing flash flood warnings and heavy rain and lightning, but you're not included in the tornado warning. Let's zoom back on into the area though that's included in the tornado warning because this is moving just a bit. I mean, moving very quickly as we get into really this, the peak of the system. You can see all the lightning located around it. I'm sure it is lighting up a show down there. And uh, it does look like our camera in that location has been disconnected. So that's something we're probably seeing very strong winds and hail in that location. So please make sure if you are in the northern portion of Somerset, Science Hill, Sugar Hill, you are seeking shelter immediately. Even in the community of Dabney, even Barnesburg, Shopburg, I mean Shopville, excuse me, you are seeking shelter. 39, thriving right on 39 or 80. I hope you're pulled over to the side of the road because it is just moving right along. I mean, you can see all that light Lightning, that purple color and that white, that's usually indications of very heavy rain or hail in these communities. And let's zoom back on out again. I'm gonna check the winds on the system and see what they're looking like, at least at this moment. Very tight rotation. You can see that purple color and that blue. That might be an indication of the strengthening system, at least in this location. We know that uh, green is towards the radar and blue or usually red means away. So we're seeing that spin turn as we get into really just taking a look inside of what we are looking at. And let's see, of course, this system's moving to off to the east at about 50 miles per hour. This goes into effect until 730, but just know if they continue this warning, we're gonna continue to stay on air and track it out for you guys as the communities that really need it. Cause we wanna make sure everyone is staying safe on this new year's day, new year, but same Kentucky weather. We are continuing to track out for you guys. Let's zoom out a bit and see some communities that right now are not really seeing anything. I mean, if you're in Southern Kentucky, right along the Tennessee border, you are not even really seeing any rain showers right now. Fairly calm, quiet, but we have this area right along here that continues lots of flash flood warnings and even really just lots of heavy downpours. Some locations I'm sure have picked up maybe on two, three inches of rain as we get into the rest of the morning. Let me zoom back on in to that community and now we'll continue to track it out for you guys. Let's take a look right on here as we get into the rest of the morning. Zooming back on in so those know where they can, those who are affected know where to go, at least for right now. And soon we'll also know if the 
National Weather Service is going to continue to let this warning go or not. I mean, still things I think look are looking fairly strong, so we're gonna continue to keep it up here. But if you are in Wellborn, Shopville, Sugar Hill, even in Science Hill, I mean, you see where this system is right here. I think this is where the best bit of rotation is right along Highway 39. So if you live along 39, even to the east of it, you need to be in your safe spot immediately of around 461, even into Shopville. If you're in Sinking Valley, I would recommend maybe getting into your safe spot. Not a warning yet, but if they do continue it, you will be right into their neck of the woods, right into that zone where you need to be seeking shelter. I mean, really just very heavy rainfall, very gusty winds. I mean, the system's moving off to the east at about 50 miles per hour, so it will come and go right over top of you. But we want to make sure everyone is staying safe, at least on this New Year's. If you're getting alerts on your phone, make sure you are seeking shelter. Maybe turn up that TV all the way so you can hear me in your safe zone. Or maybe if you're watching even on Facebook that you are knowing what's going on if you are not in those locations either. Let's zoom back out again. Let's see what's going on. Like I said, watches and warnings across the region. Right now we have a tornado watch. That means conditions are favorable in portions of Southern Kentucky. That includes London, Somerset. Somerset's right now where we see that tornado warning. We know a watch means conditions are favorable. A warning means you need to seek shelter now. And that includes Somerset. And this goes until 8 a.m. this morning. And we are gonna continue to track that out. Somerset right now, even in portions of Southern Rock Castle County, we have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect for gusty winds hail up to maybe a inch and a half in diameter and it is continuing to just push right on through right off the east towards I-75 so if you are driving right now on the interstate in that location you need to make sure right now that you have a plan in case the warning comes into your area either you're pulling over the side of the road and just staying there and waiting it out or maybe going into a ditch make sure you cover your head because we know a car can be picked up just like a projectile and we want to make sure that you guys are all doing the right thing and being safe but heavy rain really across the region. I mean, you can just see all that red, yellow color. That means we could see very heavy rainfall. I mean, we're probably picking up on a couple inches in this hour in this location. And let's take a look at what's going on. Let's see what the National Weather Service is saying about this warning, at least at the moment. Not much, at least uh, we're seeing. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning that for Pike County that just expired. But other than that, I mean, we are seeing very heavy rainfall. I mean, it says in Georgetown, Kentucky, about 1.2 inches have rain have been reported since early Friday morning. And, you know, we are just continuing to pay attention to what's going on. It does say that a severe thunderstorm warning has now been extended for Laurel, Pulaski, and Rockcastle County until 8.15 this morning. So we'll see about if they continue to extend that tornado warning. But if you are located in Pulaski County, Laurel County, or Rockcastle County, you want to make sure that you are potentially seeking your safe zone. I mean, if you're, in Laure if you're in Pulaski County, you are already in your safe zone. Let me take a sip of this water. We're going to zoom back on in and see what's going on. All right, we can see winds up to 70 miles per hour, at least in those locations. Let's zoom back into those counties where this severe thunderstorm warning has since been extended. This includes the cities of London. It also includes I-75, 25, and really just right along the locations of Southern Rockcastle County, of Northwestern Laurel County, and most of Pulaski County. But let's see this tornado warning again and that system brewing right in there. Let's take a look at the winds and the rotation here. Oh, it looks like we are seeing things really tighten up. And if you are in Shopville right now, you better be in your safe spot, guys. I'm sure we are seeing very gusty winds in this location, if not some hail. And that's that's not usually a color we like to see in that location. But, you know, as long as you're in your safe spot and you're doing all the right things, you will be okay. I know some kids might be scared at least at this hour. But, no, if you are in your safe spot, it is going to be okay. you got all the things that you need in your most interior room, maybe with a blanket or a mattress over top of you, even with your maybe your hard hat or your sneakers. It is going to just continue to ride out the storm. We are going to continue to pay attention to this. If you're located right along Highway 80 in portions of Pulaski County, 
once east of Shopville, you need to be in your safe spot immediately or pulled over to the side of the road. Let me get rid of this real quick and let's push this on over to the side because I think that because they extended this warning, so let's look at the communities right now that are impacted. Let's see if you were in. The National Weather Service in Jackson, Kentucky has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Laurel County, northeastern Pulaski County, southeastern Rock Castle County, until 8.15 a.m. At 7.22 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Shawville, or seven miles northeast of Somerset, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will be near, Bloss around 7.35 a.m. Billows around 7.40 a.m. Other locations in the path of the severe thunderstorm include Wood Creek Lake, London and Atlanta. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15 a.m. for the following counties, in Kentucky, Laurel, Pulaski and Rock Castle. The National Weather Service in Jackson, Kentucky has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central It's definitely County, strengthening right over Shopville. County, I mean, you see County that red. We're farther away from the radar, but if it's picking up on that this far out, it does mean maybe we could be seeing some damage in that location. So, like I said, if you were in Shopville or if you are located east of Shopville, you want to make sure you are seeking shelter immediately. I'm going to take this out of the way, and I'm going to zoom back out again. I'm going to go read the latest update for the National Weather Service. I'm going to tell you guys what they are saying, at least about this new extended warning. Let's zoom back on out. So, let's see. It says that... Uh, a tornado warning has been indicated for Laurel, Pulaski, and Rockcastle County until 7.45 this morning. It does say that a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Shopville, over about seven miles northeast of Somerset, moving at 50 miles per hour. So this storm is cruising this morning. It is moving right along, and we're going to continue to stay on air at least till 7.45 to make sure you guys are all safe. I think the storm has since moved, it looks like, almost to the north of Somerset. So I think if you're in Somerset, you are almost out of the woods. I would stay in for about another five minutes before, at least if you were in northern Somerset, before the system moves completely out. But we are seeing really that extension. I'm gonna zoom right on in for you guys to see what we have going on. Let's take a look at all the communities impacted, at least in this new warning. I mean, we are seeing very strong winds. Have the National Weather Service in Jackson, Kentucky has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Laurel County, east central Pulaski County, south central Rock Castle County, until 7.45 a.m. At 7.24 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Shawville, or seven miles northeast of Somerset, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, Bloss around 7.35 a.m. Billows around 7.40 a.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Wood Creek Lake. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.45 a.m. for the following counties in Kentucky, Laurel, Pulaski, and Rock Castle. The You guys, if you're in Science Hill, all clear for you guys. If you're west of Highway 27, this storm has passed you by to the east, and you're all clear from this storm. So again, if you're in Somerset, you are not included in this new tornado warning. This now is for eastern Pulaski County, southern Rockcastle County, and northwestern Laurel Counties, and this does not include the city of London. But no one should be driving right now along Highway 80 in eastern Pulaski County and northwestern Laurel County, as this is a possible tornado. And again, the rotation is not as strong as it was about five minutes ago. This storm is kind of cycling 
it'll kind of look good for one scan, it'll go away for the next scan, and then come back for the next scan. So it's not really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not really sustaining itself, but it is kind of cycling. So we're going to keep an eye on that. It may kind of wind down, then wind back up again. And that's really what we're looking at with these spin-up tornadoes. They're not those consistent ones that really stay down for a long period of time. But we're going to keep an eye on that. If you are in eastern Pulaski County, southern Rock Castle, this is moving into southern Rock Castle County. If you're in Pongo, if you're in Conrad, if you're in Squibb, any of these communities that I'm calling out right now, you are looking at the possibility of a tornado, and you need to be in your safe place right now. This is a possible tornado in southern Rock or southern uh, Rock Castle County, eastern Pulaski County. And again, the newest scans really look very noisy. They're not as tight and well-defined as it was about five to ten minutes ago. So that's a good news. Hopefully that trend will continue. But still, do not let your guard down if you are in far eastern Pulaski County and far southern Rock Castle County near the community of Pongo. This is moving in your direction, a possible tornado there. If you live along Highway 1249 in southern Rock Castle County, you need to be in your safe place right now as this is a possible tornado moving into southern Rock Castle County from eastern Pulaski County. And again, this does not include the city of London. Next in line is Laurel County, and Laurel County is included in a tornado warning, but it's far northwestern Laurel County. So Burnstadt, Hazel Patch, I-75 to the east of East Burnstadt. So really a small chunk of I-75 is included in that tornado warning polygon, but no one should be driving along I-75 right now between, let's say, London and Mount Vernon, that big gap there. No one should be driving along I-75 for about the next... 20 to 25 minutes between London and Mount Vernon. Let this tornado warned storm pass off towards the east. And again, that Pulaski County storm looks to be weakening. And that is some good news. As it continues moving off towards the east, it is in far eastern Pulaski County. Right there. That is the rotation of what we're looking at. It is moving into southern Rock Castle County. And again, near the community of Pongo, if you are in this community, you need to be in your safe place right now. That is the lowest floor of your home. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You want to be in a small room with no windows, like a bathroom, a closet, or a hallway. If you have a helmet, put that on. And you do not want to be in a car or a mobile home. That is the two places you do not want to be during a tornado warning, is a car and a mobile home. You have got to find more substantial shelter if you are in southern Rock Castle County, far southern Rock Castle County, this does not include Mount Vernon. This does not include Livingston. This does not include Conway. This includes the far southern tip of Rock Castle County, the community of Pongo here along Highway 1249 is where we are looking at the possibility of a tornado. And again, the velocity, the rotation is not very impressive right now. It was about 10 minutes ago. It was pretty impressive. I won't lie. But right now, it's not as impressive as it was. And whatever is there is right on the Pulaski Rock Castle County line, just to the south of the Pongo community, nearing Highway 1249. That is the area of rotation that we are watching. But again, it is not as well defined as it was about 10 to 15 minutes ago. But nonetheless, if you are in southern Rock Castle County, if you are in northwestern Laurel County, you want to be sheltered immediately. This is a tornado warning for southern Rock Castle, eastern Pulaski, and northwestern Laurel County. If you are in this red polygon here, so if you are in Burnstadt, if you're in Pongo, if you're in Squibb, you have got to be in your safe place. And again, I'll put on a track, get some estimated times here over the next few minutes as this warning continues. Let's say the next 30 minutes or so. Again, 
billows about 736 so really it's, it's on you now if you're in the billows community east burnstead about 748 green mound about 755 if it does hold together that long but we are watching out for the possibility of that tornado warned storm in southern rock castle county and again this is not very impressive in terms of rotation i think this storm may be fizzling hopefully Maybe fizzling out here in southern Rock Castle County. However, you do want to take it seriously and stay sheltered as the National Weather Service will continue the tornado warning here for the next about 10 minutes or so. We'll see if they'll cancel it early. If it keeps looking the way it does, I would not be shocked if they cancel this warning early. However, it is still in effect, so be sure to stay sheltered. If you are in southern Rockcastle County, if you are in far eastern Pulaski County, if you're in western Laurel County, this does not include the city of London. This includes Bernstadt. This includes Lunar. This includes Squibb. This includes Pongo. Along Highway 1249, along Highway 1956, Highway 80, if you live in, in near any of these highways here, be sure to be sheltered as this is a tornado warning for far eastern Pulaski, southern Rock Castle, and far northwestern Laurel County. This does not include the city of London. But again, going back towards velocity here, really not looking at much in the way of rotation anymore. This is great news as it is moving into portions of southern Rock Castle and northwestern Laurel County now. Once it was over portions of Central Pulaski County, it was looking a little bit impressive, but right now it does not look as impressive as it did. And hopefully that weakening trend will continue and this warning will be allowed to either expire or will be canceled over the next few minutes. But nonetheless, if you are in Southern Rock Castle, Northwestern Laurel, over the next about five to 10 minutes until this warning expires, be sure to stay sheltered as this is a tornado warning for portions of Southern Rock Castle in northwestern Laurel County. I'll put on another track. If you are just now joining us. So Burnstad about 743. This storm will be on top of you guys. East Burnstad 748 and Green Mount there about 755. So we'll be keeping an eye on these areas over the next about five to ten minutes or so as this warning continues for until 745. It's 738 right now. I'm meteorologist Cameron Aaron in the WYMT Weather Center. We have a new tornado warning for that portion of Pulaski, Rock Castle, and Laurel County. And that goes for about seven more minutes until 745 this morning. If you're in the community of Pongo, if you are in Bernstadt along Highway 1956, along Highway 1248, you need to be in your safe place immediately as this is a tornado warning for portions of northwestern Laurel. And actually, the National Weather Service has just expired that tornado warning. So I'm thinking that they have just let that go as this was not really looking much, in, that it wasn't looking impressive really at all over the past couple of scans. So I think they are letting, letting that tornado warning go, but they will continue the severe thunderstorm warning with the tornado possible tag. So if you are sheltered in eastern Pulaski, south Rock Castle, or northwestern Laurel, this warning has allowed to expire. So you are all clear from that storm. This warning is off the board as it really has weakened over the past 10 minutes or so. It was looking a little impressive along Highway 27 there near Somerset, but it has weakened tremendously over portions of southern Roncastle County. So this warning has expired. Before we hop off, though, I want to take a look at the entire region. Most of us just looking at some really heavy rainfall right now. This line of storms from London to Hazard to Pikeville putting down some very heavy rainfall. These are all flash flood warnings this morning let's pull up the estimated rainfall you can see let's put up some numbers right quick 3.8 inches so some areas radar is suggesting now sometimes this can be a little bit much but this is a good idea of what we are looking at this morning some areas upwards of maybe two three maybe four inches of rain in some spots based off of radar estimates 
Now, again, this could be a little bit overestimated, but still, some very heavy rainfall is falling in these areas, and that is why there is a flash flood warning for multiple counties in our viewing area this morning. You want to be sure to turn around and don't drown. You never want to drive through flooded roadways as that is a very dangerous thing to do, and you never want to do that. But again, this tornado warning for portions of Pulaski, Rockcastle, and Laurel County was expired, and the severe thunderstorm warning will continue. But since that has expired, we will hop off the air, go back to regular programming, and if there is any other tornado warnings, we will hop right back on here. But until then, we will send you back to regular programming.